Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Alaa Musbah, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Faculty of Medicine, Mansoura University. Today I want to discuss with you an important topic which is IUD insertion. What are the types of IUDs and what is the instruments needed to insert an IUD? All of us know that the IUD is a very common contraceptive missile and used in different countries all over the world. What are the instruments? I need cask speculum, two blades, screw, handle. I can insert it and expose the cervix and the portion of the cervix and fix it through this screw in its place without any assistance. Second, I need the trine sound to know the direction of the uterus. Is it ABF or AB, RBF? And to know the length of the uterine cavity. Then I measure it because I wanna, during insertion of the tube, or carrying the IUD, I wanna to insert it to certain lengths. So I know the length of the uterus from the uterine sound. What else needed? I need ring forceps to hold sponge or dressing, sterile by antiseptic solution to clean the external genitalia, the vagina, and the cervix from any mucus discharge. And of course, if there is any infection, I shall treat it first before insertion of IUD. So don't insert IUD if there is genital tract infection. You should manage the infection first, then you insert the IUD. But you use antiseptic to clean the cervical mucus uh, first and the any vaginal discharge. What is needed also? Bulsella. Multiple tools bulsella to fix the anterior lip of the cervix to hold it like that. So I need the volcillum multi-tooth or I need the single tooth volcillum. Either one of them is used to hold the anterior lip of the cervix before insertion of IV. Okay, let us try to see the different types of IV. Of course, they are closed in a package, it's dry as this one, we open it like that, and of course we wear trial gloves, somebody helping you to open it like that, and all things inside are kept dry. Okay, so let us see the different types of ID. This one is cover T 300, 80. Copper T, as you see, it looks like T figure, loaded with copper in the transverse arm and in the vertical arm. This is called the sheath or the insertion tube. This is called the blunger. This is the blunger. And the, sorry, this is the flank. This is the flank. And this is the blunger. We insert the blunger inside the sheath or insertion tube like that, okay? And before doing this, you should insert the two transverse arms inside the sheath, like that. I insert one of them, I insert the other. So both transverse arms should be inside like that. Because insertion of cover T 380, inside the uterus is done by a technique called withdrawal technique. I insert the blunder till it reach the side, the last part of the vertical arm. As you see here, the blunder is inside, the vertical arm here, just touching the blunder. Okay? This flank will be measured according to the length of the uterine cavity. So, First,
after cleaning of the cervix from in this chart and the holding the anterior lip with bronsillum, I insert the sound like that. Why I insert the sound? To measure the length of the uterus and to know if it is ABF uterus or RBF uterus. Then I measure the lens. Okay? When you insert the, the sound, you will find two resistance. The first resistance is the internal os. The second resistance is the fundus of the uterus. So try not to be tough, so not to injure the uterus or do perforation. So two resistance will meet you. The first one is with the internal os, the second one with the fundus. Then I know now the length of the uterus. Suppose it is five centimeter. I have here a scale. I can measure, yes, this, this flank. I measure it like this. So the flank is okay. So I'm going to insert the ID using the withdrawal technique. How can I insert? I insert, first resistance will meet me, the internal loss, second resistance will meet me, the fundus. Then, as this, as you like. Then, I use the, can you see the flank? The flank at the portion at the external loss. So, I measure the lens, I insert the, the sheath or the tube inside the trine cavity. Just touching the fundus, little bit below it, withdrawal, then I do withdrawal of the sheath. I'll fix one hand, fixing the plumber. The other hand will do withdrawal of the sheath. So, like that. Now the ID is released inside. I remove the plumber first, like this. Then I remove the sheath like that. And now I have the threads connected to the ID. If it pass outside the external os for long distance, I'll cut it to keep it five millimeter or one centimeter from the external os. This thread is important because when I wanted to remove the ID later on, I can hold it like that and withdraw it out. So this is the withdrawal technique used with copper TID. Another type of ID here is also copper, but it is different in its component. It is we said this, this is one is 380, this one 375. Can you see this duration and this curve? It is different than the T-shaped copper T. But here the copper in the vertical arm only. Here the copper in the vertical arm as you see here. Okay. This type of ID is inserted by pushing technique, not the not the withdrawal like the other one. So, I insert the ID like that. Then, just push. Of course, after I do all the measures as previously, measuring the lens of the uterine cavity and so on, so on, so on. And fix the blank, the flank on the measured lens. Then I insert. The ID is inside now. Then I withdraw the sheath, keeping the ID inside. Then I cut the threads, leave it one centimeter from the external loss. When I wanted to remove the ID later on, I hold the, 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 the threads like that, then I remove it to the outside, okay? This another one type of ID, the copper here on the vertical, Oh. So, copper T, the first copper T inserted by withdrawal technique. The second copper serrated IOD 
is inserted by pushing the technique only. Okay? So there is no plunger because I don't need plunger. The third one is called intrauterine device releasing hormone as in the world it's called Mirina. This one releasing a low dose of levonorgestrel every day inside the uterine cavity. It is used as a contraceptive method and also used as a medical treatment for abnormal uterine bleeding in different poses. So what are the component here? Here, this is the sheath or the uh, tube and this is the flank and this is the slider this one is called slider and the ID inside to, to see how it locks the ID, this is the ID as you see with two transverse arm and one vertical arm and this is the slits when you draw the slits like that sorry the ID is ready in this situation. You measure the length of the uterine cavity as previously by a dry sound. You hold the anterior limb of the cervix. Then you wanna to insert marina inside the uterus. So lock to this please. You will insert the cheese inside or the tube inside first resistance meet your internal loss second resistance is the fundus of course you measure the flank flank should be on the proper position from the start because you measure the uterine cavity so flank will be on the external loss like that now the iod inside little bit withdrawn then first Push the slider to the first mark here. As you see here, when I push the slider down to the first mark, the ID released inside the uterine cavity. Now, the ID is inside, little push forward, then complete by pushing down to the next side. So I have two grades. The first grade to release the transverse arm, the second grade to release the whole ID. Then withdraw, as you see, like that. So the ID is now is inside. Then I cut the threads as usual, as in previous ID. This is the ID, how it works. And this is, this system is called the Mirina system or levonorgestrel releasing intratrial system. Of course, it is suitable for patients who are having heavy menstruation with the copper ID. Mirina could be a good choice for heavy menstruation because it makes the menstruation little in amount. This is the end of the lecture. I wanna let you see the different types of here nearby. This one is the Merina with the Merina system. This one is copper tea 380 and the other one here is copper tea also but with different shape as you see it has a serration to keep